Hey guys, Brenny here, and welcome to another hardcore. Now, we're gonna go name that block of coal the epic block of coal because apparently you guys have a large affectionate feeling for that block of coal. Um, I've never had so many comments regarding just one random ask question I made, so yeah, let's go the epic block of coal. Is that what we should call it? I think that's it. Uh, I believe it was this one. The epic block, can it fit there? of coal Brandy Beast fans see there we go I figured I'd give you guys the credit for the mad name now that block of coal must be remembered in the history of this Beastcraft oh no it's not Beastcraft hardcore god I can't even remember the names of my own series but yeah let's just clear this area up put some blocks there uh, a few things I want to show you guys uh, where I've been going hard in the paint mining wise uh, I finally I did an enchantment on a new sword uh, which is a oh it's a powerful sword uh, and I got an I did another enchantment on a pick but I can't find it uh, it's efficiency three and uh, unbreaking three so nothing too impressive but whatever um, but yeah let's go into the mine I'll show you that I was I was in there for a while I did a live stream for like three hours and the whole time I was just like pumping music and caving like a boss um, so another thing we did was we got some TNT from creepers um, this the reason we are caving was because we couldn't get creepers fast enough um, so I started caving this area and I'm gonna show you my ideas for caving this area uh, we go down here. I made a water drop down here because I nearly fell down there, guys. I was within, like, the last maybe three. Like, I probably landed there, and I fell the whole time, so I would have died. Um, but what I'm going to do is dig out a, I think this would be, yeah, three by three area all the way down this way. Uh, 115, 150 blocks from here. So I think it needs about, what is it, um, 480 and yeah then I'm gonna go 150 blocks off in every direction this way and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that every 10 blocks so once I've done this whole area like that I changed up my design like that's why this one looks really dodgy like how there's this area and then there's like that and there's nothing there um, but what I'm gonna do is go up 10 more lev levels and then do it again maybe 10 what do you guys think would be a good number should I do it like seven um, but yeah then I'm gonna do that up as high as I can and hopefully that will make a very efficient mob spawner above me and with the rest of the co uh, cobble I'll make the mob spawner sky height uh, but yeah I got pff, I think about 30 diamonds from that and a lot of iron a heap of redstone I'll come um, hmm should I come back when we're there I don't know yeah I'll come back when we're on, on our way there okay guys so I made it daytime and we are on our way back um, I just didn't want to make you guys watch me go up that annoying ladder that's that's how nice I am uh, so let's go back down here. I've decided I'm going to do something different with this. Uh, I'm going to have like farms and stuff here because my initial farm is too small. I don't know. I want to do something different there. I don't really know just what though. Although I do use it quite often to get into here. So probably it being a doorway is quite nice. Um, still haven't done this area. I still haven't done the roof either. But we, over time, you know. Um, but yeah, let's go sh I'll show you guys what I'm up to over here, um, where the nether's gonna be, which I'm, I'm really, I've, I'm excited about my ideas. Uh, these are my ores now, I have 25 diamond, one block, just cause I wanted a diamond block. A lot of iron, um, that really cut down the, um, the iron stash, cause I had like three, I had like a full line of ore, and then a full line of like the blocks and, uh, the ingots so yeah that took away from it one thing is the coal it just it takes up so much room i think i might start using it in my furnaces just to make my life easier um but yeah i might do an enchantment of this episode because i used my axe my enchanted axe which came in really handy i recommend bringing an axe with you always and wood and like yeah just wood and an axe because if you're ever underground and you find like a mine shaft you can use the axe to get the wood I did change the timing on this a bit to the point where I can run and just get through. Um, my friend Azjaduki showed me something about making it so like there's no repeater here. Uh, I think it's something to do with glowstone. We can give it a shot like that, but I've been doing a lot of redstone recently. All that. Ah, oh, I was like, how the hell did only one side open? There we go. Um, but yeah, I've been doing a lot of redstone recently, so I'll try to keep off the redstone too much. 
Um, but apparently something with glowstone will get out the silk touch spade, which I always bring on me for some reason. I really need to get a silk touch pick still because it sucks not having one. Um, I don't really know how to do this. Do I go like this and put the redstone on top? I have no real clue. Um, that doesn't look like I did it right. Uh, I'm going to play around with that until I get it right. If he was online at the moment, I will ask him, but I'm pretty sure he's not considering it's like 4 a.m. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I figured it out. Um, I need to put the glowstone like this. Uh, so that's pretty cool, something I didn't know. Uh, it's, it's good to learn stuff redstone-wise because it's like... I didn't know this, and, and now you know it, and now you can efficiently use it, maybe. Alright, I probably won't efficiently use it other than this, but I know it now. Um, so yeah, we just dig down like this, and the power can go up, but it can't go down, so that takes away our issue. It's the teeniest bit faster, like teeny, teeny little bit faster. Um, another thing I might do is try to take out some repeaters, so I'm going to try to play around with that now. As you can see, I hit the area a bit before, like, than before if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try to see if I can take out one of the repeaters and just have a one tick less delay again, so I'll be back. Okay guys, so as I went on to my creative world and played around with new designs, I actually could hear a um, spider spawner, I believe, in this area, or a cave or something, um, so I'm going to have to cave this area, which is going to be boring, but I do have a uh, new design for this now, um, so I'm going to try to duplicate that in front of you guys. It's a huge design change too, that's the thing, um, but it does look like it's going to be a bit more effective. So what we need to do is get rid of this glowstone first, and we probably should disable it from working, so we'll break these. Uh, but yeah, I didn't really want this episode to be redstone-y, but... I'm sure I'll have this done and then we can get on to a more technical part, uh, not technical, buildy part of the episode. Or I can go on an adventure. I'm feeling an adventure. I haven't been on one of them in a while. Uh, we need some redstone torches. Uh, have enough glowstone on me. God, I always break things at wrong times. We need some redstone torches. Maybe some more smooth stone just to sit crap on. There we go. Uh, some redstone torches and some redstone and now we're set all right we got this guys it's a teeny bit faster but I do want it to be as fast as possible so I'm not gonna really go dodgy on it let's do this and all right we'll make it ladder we need a torch there redstone there now across from this torch is a repeater taking the power backwards uh, one other thing about this... Oh, we forgot to get repeaters, guys. The one thing about this design is it's smaller, um, like of an area. Let's break them. Uh, that block there is not needed. Now, that block needs to be powered. I have no clue how the power even goes up here, but I'm not going to complain. There, and then we put a glowstone block there and a glowstone block here with redstone on top. And there we go, that should be it. So, wait, wait. There's one pulse, one pulse there, and then the second pulse there. So, can't really see what I'm doing right now. Um, so, that needs to be on the first option. I'm very happy with this, I'm very, very happy. Um, the way I made it work now is different to the original way it worked. Uh, I'll just show you guys that just so if you want to do something like this. The original way it worked was they all got power at the same time. So, and they just had different timing on them. So let's say it was like that, um, like that. And you'll see that it goes from like left to right or right to left, whatever. Uh, the new way we're doing it is more of it in a line. So it goes like there, then there, and then there. So either way, we're still doing the same thing. It's just a different method. Uh, and I do like it a lot more. It is smaller. Uh, I, I've incorporated my little glowstone knowledge a bit more. The only thing is now fitting in the, um, the delay. So the first block we need to put is here and that's going to take powder there. Actually, what we should do is get all the, not, we don't want to waste blocks, um, take power from there. Now the next, what we're going to do is take power from here and bump it in this way. Like so. And basically that will work as the glowstone did before. 
uh, it will make a so they don't touch each other but they both work together uh, and now we can give it a shot I believe a uh, test let's do this uh, I think ooh, oh I should have kept some of the redstone here so we can have a comparison of the speeds but yeah that's pretty fast compared to the other one seems actually a bit slow ah oh, the signals not strong enough all right um, what we can do to strengthen the signal is do this and there we go that will keep the signal strong um, oh I want to wire this up differently now all right I'm gonna wire this bottom part up differently and I'll come back when it's finished because you guys only need to see a bit of it uh, but you can see it's pretty good I'm pretty happy with it okay guys so I've done my redstone now we're just gonna go check this cave because um, apparently holy crap this cave is like full of crap Sorry, right, I got my B-Star sword, like, check this shit, guys. Just run in there, no biggie. It does, nothing even hurts us. We're, we're titanium. We're shredded as far out. This is an annoying cave. It's a really mob-heavy cave. It's probably affecting some spawn ratings uh, ratio right here. Holy crap! This is a very, like... Wow. It's cool. All right, let's light this up before more idiots spawn around me. It's good to find this though. Um, I'll probably have to dig this out anyway when I make my little area. Uh, if if I if I don't know, I I'm wondering if I can get it to look how I want. But then again, I don't want to dig out a huge hole and then fill it up because that will just drive me crazy. Um, let's get this. I want to kind of hit him with a um, looting sword so I can get better items. I don't like knockback against them. That really sucks. I think it just gives them more opportunity to hit me. Knockback is really good for PvP though, if you're like getting owned. Alright, let's just cave this up. I'm actually going to continue caving this myself. Uh, I, show, I, don't, I don't know, I wanted to adventure, but it's like, I don't see this as very much adventuring. Uh, because I'm just looking around a cave for dark spots and lighting them up. So, I'll be back. Okay guys, so I got level 30 because I think we could... um actually go look f uh, hopefully get silk touch firstly and then we could go look for uh, some emeralds I just put some food in my ender chest because if I ever am under like pressure of death I'm I don't know I should bring an ender chest with me at all time because I think that would be a good move plus I don't really bring iron ingots anymore because I don't use them so I think I'm gonna bring an ender chest on me at all times so that if I yeah just time calls I do have it um, another thing I want to start doing is like some instant health potions, but we need to make a potion room uh, And I will be doing that near the nether room. I suppose I don't really know just yet um, I'm pretty sure once you do make the and break the ender chest you get the obsidian back too So all I'll need is an eye. Maybe I could bring some eyes with me and I could have multiple ender chests I don't really know. I don't want to have too much crap on me though. I like this is like my my random crap corner uh but yeah look at this guys it opens up just in time uh it's a bit before before i was i could bump into it now i can't bump into it i'm sure if i had a speed potion maybe i could bump into it let's have a look see yeah see it doesn't look like i can hit it uh now what we're gonna do is bring out this wall a bit maybe to about here and then it's gonna go across along the wall above the roof um and then here is where we'll have another wall and that this area I don't know I think I might have a doorway that way or that way and then this will be like a huge cliff and then hmm I might have stairs down the side I don't know what I, I might move these pressure plates it's just more of a having the double pressure plates makes it easier to use uh, but yeah if I have stairs down the side then they can wrap down into a nether portal which will be down there and then at the end of the stairs, maybe we could have like a piston thing that stops the mobs from getting in. And then to the left and the right, we will have a... This side, we can have a melon farm and a pumpkin farm and a wheat farm. And this side, we will have a nice big potion room with like really marked out and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this build. I'm pretty happy with here. Um, still need to do some small tweaks in small areas, but I, I think once I do all this, I'm going to be lost again. Uh, but yeah, let's do this enchantment. Let's get out three of these. Hopefully we get the um, silk touch this time. I know this. I'll do this level. It's more chance or there's, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I just, yeah. I'd prefer to get like a bunch of cool enchantments over like 
one silk touch and a bunch of shitty pickaxes. Yeah, so that's a decent pickaxe. I'm happy with that, but I'd, I really want the silk touch. We can go get a cat and a dog, um, or we can do this room. I think we'll do this room, but I've really got to dig it out. Um, let's get the stone bricks, which are... See how I just walked backwards and forwards like 15 times then? God, I must look weird sometimes. Um, Alright, so what we'll do is... Oh, by the way, guys, I was watching this guy live stream with no arms, and he was playing so fucking good. I was like, what? That was cray. I'm very impressed. Um, it confused me, though, because, like, I don't know. I felt... I don't want to, like, call him out or call anyone out, but I felt like it was slightly fake, purely because wouldn't you use your feet? It makes more sense to me, but obviously I have no clue, so it wouldn't take what I'm saying to heart or anything, but I was just quite impressed by that. Um, we need to do a floor here so I can see how far we're coming out from either side. Three, four, five, six, and then seven. Um, we'll do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And, oh, I, dug, I did do that rather correctly. Don't know what I could do to really pretty up this nether brick stuff because I've never really made anything with it. Um, but we'll get there eventually, I'm sure. I need to light it up a lot, so I think we'll use pumpkins. I, I'm really, I like pumpkins. Let's dig this down and put it somewhere else. And we can put it, hmm. All right, let's just do this first. And then we will do a new staircase up. Should I do this a circle? I think I will. I think that's a good idea to do it a circle. Uh, and that will add a lot to it, like, build-wise. I could do different designs. There we go. Um, so the circle will come out this way. And then the staircase will go around in a circle and down. Or oh, it should make it a bit more, maybe, of, like, a... Um, what's that? What's that shape? I can't even remember what it is. We should make it a bit of a oval. Yeah, that's it. And then we can have, like, it go around and down a bit and then have a flat spot where we can have the rooms to the left and the right. And it will also give us a nicer view from here because I plan on having, like, a uh, like a fence here that we can stand and look off the edge. How far should we have it out here? Now, I'm going to have to go mark out some shapes, guys. I'll be back and, yeah. So, as I was making pasta, I hope you guys can hear me, I decided, oh, I'll get level 30 again because I'm hungry and it's going to take some time. Uh, so, midway to level 30, or way more than midway, I realized I would actually like to um, bring the top part of this down one level. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure our bucket of water has water in it. Uh, we're going to get a sign just in case we lose our one. Actually two, I think there's possibly two. We need some smooth stone because I believe the pill is made out of soon smooth stone. Uh, and then we will get some glass just in case as well. Uh, but yeah, bringing it down one, I realized every time like I get, let's, I think it's 160 you need for a um, level 30 enchantment. I, I realize I lose about 20 to just them dying from fall damage. So if I can um, keep that 20 and just have to do a few extra hits, it's probably going to be faster. Uh, we need to sleep. Uh, I also noticed I've crapped on a lot this episode. So what I'll try to do is get, uh, do another one as soon as possible. But yeah, not too much interesting this episode. More just like little tweaks and fixes together. Although you guys don't seem to really mind like... You got amused by the coal. You got no. <laughs> you got to admit, it's a pretty beast coal block. Like, oh, what? You can't see the sign from here. See that? That's like, where's the coal? And then up oh, there it is. Oh, you can't read it. Um. All right. So let's go make our little zombie dropper one block shorter so that they stay alive. I'm hoping it's a hundred percent chance to keep them alive now. Because most of the time I am killing them with like a. Uh, iron spade or something or I'm just throwing the potion uh, another thing I want to tweak is the chicken farm I'm not happy with it uh, I I know you can put them all in one spot so I don't know why I settled with something like so big and space consuming uh, all right so let's break all this and then what we want to do is we'll double use our water so you don't want to waste the water guys and we'll break that and then we fill in this hole and this new hole 
and we need to bring it down one because we're going to have the glass there we go and the water will go oh, I'd be so pissed if I dropped my sword down there because then I'd have to go get it and I hate doing that I put that in the wrong spot there we go the water goes there it pushes the zombies we will now put our blocks back like that God, I hate breaking glass. It's so painful. And there we go, guys. That should be our quick little fix there. And now they shouldn't die at all. Um, I, I would like to test it, like, on a creative world. Uh, but I don't honestly know how far they're dropping here, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to come back when I'm level 30 and we can do another pickaxe enchantment because we got to get that silk touch. Okay guys, so we are level 30 finally. Um, I've also been doing a teeny bit of work on here. Next episode I think we can dedicate to this. It's gonna be a pretty big circle, but I think it should look awesome. I've already marked, like, like done the design of the min inner circle too. I went on my server and did um, some stupid command that makes circles, so that made my life a lot easier. Shout out to whatever plugin does that. Um, but yeah, let's do a enchantment on another pickaxe and hopefully we can get silk touch and then we can do like next next episode Maybe go get an emerald finally Because um, that's really the only reason I'm enchanting these pickaxes. I don't really have a need for like anything at the moment Did I just oh my god, I just did oh damn it. All right, who called that? I'll go get to level 30 again guys. Can I remove this enchantment? I think I can if I mix it with a shit one uh, unbreaking, there we go. Let's put these two together and get a new pickaxe because that one sucked. All right, that, that was it. That was I, I recovered from that, guys. I recovered from my dumbass move, but I'll be back. Okay, guys, so after that mad embarrassment, I am level 30 again. Let's just make sure we push that button. There we go. And oh, <laughs> that's the worst one. I'd prefer efficiency over unbreaking just because I have so much diamonds. Either way, I probably think I would. I suppose I'll just blow that down onto this area here. Like, we'll break it down here. Uh, don't think this area is that thick, though. So, hmm. I'll show you guys um, where I have the, like, marking. I have it here. And there we go. That's that's the size marking that I used as a little helper. Um, and, yeah, wait, wait. One, two, two three four five so there's only five here and i think the other our hardcore world has um what do we have here one two three four. Oh, so i can make it bigger uh anyway i want to thank you guys for watching sorry this was a very random episode uh leave a like and a comment and hopefully i'll get to you guys with another video tomorrow bye